Hello YouTube! It's been so 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 long. Um, I know I really wanted to do my pregnancy vlogs and keep up with them, but life gets in the way as always and unfortunately I haven't really kept up with them. Um, so I am as of today, I'm 32 weeks and one day um, along, so I'm quite far along. I think with the last pregnancy vlog I did was 11 weeks, so <laughs> kind of didn't keep up with the pregnancy vlogs. I, 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 I don't know what to say, I apologize. Um, but I thought I would jump on here and give you a bit of an update um, since I am so far along and I wanted to film a video for you guys. So here I am. Um, basically, uh, lots has happened, I guess. Um, I ended up taking sick leave from work. So I've been home, um, which has been nice. Um, I'm definitely needed. I had a lot of back pain and I was suffering with really random nosebleeds, which seemed to have stopped, and um, just a bunch of things and emotions and things like that. So um, being home has really just helped me um, get into gear. And yeah, that being said, um, I've had a lot of time to sort of um, focus on myself, which was nice. Um, yeah, um, other than that, um, the heartburn oh, has been really bad at night. I've noticed I've had to take like a Zantac 30 minutes before I go to sleep because if I don't, um, it's just terrible. And even if, when I do that sometimes, it doesn't kick in fast enough. But um, yeah, it can be so, so oh, dreadful that it almost feels like I cannot breathe. Actually, I feel like I cannot breathe. Like, And um, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just terrible. It's the worst feeling in the world. Heartburn sucks. And I don't get heartburn aside from when I'm pregnant because I know with um, my first pregnancy with Dean, um, it was the same thing. Heartburn was so bad and I couldn't eat after a certain time, which I haven't experienced yet with this one. So, um, but with Dean, I had the really bad heartburn as well. Um, I don't tend to get it during the day. It's bam, right at night, um, right before I'm going to sleep and it's just like burning and it's, oh, and you just can't breathe. It's terrible. Um, so that's been my number one like complaint recently. Oh, um, so funny story. <laughs> I've never did any vlogs with um, Dean, so I guess you guys don't really know, but he was a breech baby. Well, he was fine, he was head down, everything was cool, okay, glorious. Um, then he must have just flipped last minute, kicked, broke the water, and boom, he was here type of thing. So um, my first pregnancy went really, really fast. Um, I was in labor for like six hours and I was only at the hospital for four minutes before he was delivered. So. Yeah, um, so with this pregnancy, um, actually with the first pregnancy I was with midwives, um, this pregnancy I decided to stick with the OB, um, the OB that actually delivered Dean, my son, um, who is great, uh, and uh, the last ultrasound I had done, which was probably about like four weeks ago or something, quite some time ago, um, showed that the baby was in a breech position. So, um, I think I have an appointment coming up the 1st of September and um, hopefully she'll send me for another ultrasound then. She wants to make sure that the baby may be turned. Let's hope, 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 hope. She says if he does not turn though, we will not jump to a C-section since I had such an easy time delivering my other son. We can maybe see if we can um, do something so I don't have to. <laughs> you know, do a C-section and I can do it naturally because I was able to the first time around. Um, that being said, I would have to be sent to like a hospital down far and to a specialist and this and that and whatever and it's kind of scary, but let's hope he flipped. Let's hope. Um, and uh, hopefully he flipped. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, I do feel quite a bit of movement, so I don't know, she says, um, cause I feel a movement down and to my left side, kinda. So I don't know, she said that's a good thing if I'm feeling it down, like lower than up and higher. So I have no idea, hopefully, 
Hopefully this baby does not decide to give me problems. Hopefully. Um, but I'm super excited. I am getting to that point where it's like, get this baby out of me because I just want it out and I want to... Really the heartburn and stuff is just killing me at night. Um, I'm not comfortable at night um, trying to even turn and t oh my god, it's just like... Ugh. And I just feel like I can't breathe. I feel like the baby's just sitting right on my lungs or squashing my lungs or something. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible feeling. <sighs> what can you do, right? Um, so excited. Um, as for baby names, I'm having the hardest time with baby names. Um, I have a few that I really like. Massey, Daniel, but the problem with that is my <laughs> Dean's middle name is Daniel, so... Yeah, I try to be original, Ashley, but it's really hard because I'm I, I I really can't come up with a boy's name that I'm like a hundred percent in love with, and I don't know. I'm toying with Zachary. <sighs> Zane was one of my first top picks, but I, I I really I have no idea. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below because I have no idea. I'm like ah. I have tons of choices for girls' names, but when it comes to boys' names, it's just so hard to find really nice name. Like, I like Michael, but it's so common. I don't want a common name. Anyways, uh, that is pretty much it. I don't really know what else to tell you guys at this point in the game. Um, I will try and do um, another update once I have my next ultrasound and everything, because I think, you know, they'll be a little bit more interesting. Over the last couple of months, nothing has really drastically changed where I felt the need to film. So once things get rolling, I will definitely, definitely be filming and letting you guys know because I know it's really neat to be able to communicate with other moms and see what other moms are going through. So I like watching pregnancy vlogs and um, most of the ones that I've been watching um, and following have given birth, which is really cool and now they have their little one and stuff. So I, I want to keep it up until maybe the birth and then, you know, we can do like a little meet and greet on here for you guys with the baby. And um, yeah, and then, oh, one thing I will show you maybe is the baby room. I mean, it's still a work in progress but it's looking really, really good and I'm really proud of it. So I will put a clip of it in here somewhere. It's gorgeous. I did sort of like a nautical theme and the walls, I painted like this egg, an eggplant gray color. It just looks phenomenal. Like I'm so proud of my baby room. So proud. Um, everything is not exactly put together yet, um, but uh, bits and pieces and most of the items are loving it yeah. sort of a um, little overview of baby's room so far like I said still a work in progress there's still lots of stuff that has to go up on the wall and there's stuff that has to be taken out of here obviously um, but um, I okay, so I um, I did those decals um, I was gonna bring it all the way down I don't know <laughs> I'm still debating um, that is the crib. I got it from Toys R Us. Um, I didn't want anything too fancy or anything because whatever. And I think it's just perfect. Um, the bedding and everything is also from Toys R Us. Um, these are, what are they called? Um, Sadie and Scott, I think. That is the brand, Sadie and Scott. Um, same with the little nautical uh, bed sheet. And I got these breathable side pads. I thought they were interesting. And then some blankets that actually a friend gave me. Um, just hanging there for now. Um, got a change table over here. Uh, don't know if it's staying, well, I think it is gonna stay there. And then I have a glider and that's probably gonna go in the corner there. And then the clock there, I just thought was really cute um, for decor. Oh, I don't know if you can see it sitting on the window, um, but I thought it was really cute for decor and yeah, it doesn't work. So I'm thinking we're going to do like um, the time that the baby's born and we'll just stick it there. And then this is um, something I got for my uh, baby shower. 
It's really cute and we'll find a place on the wall to put it. Um, I think I need some like, I don't know, prints or something to put in there though. Um, this is my dresser and I'm super, <laughs> my dresser, baby's dresser. And I'm super excited about it because I think it looks so freaking adorable. Um, I changed the handles and I put these little seahorse guys, which are freaking adorable. And then on top of the dresser, um, I just have for now <laughs> this vase that has a seahorse and I put some flowers in there. Um, and I think I'm also gonna put um, a candle that I have that will match the room there. And then this I also have for the room, um, which I think I'll put on top of where, wherever we put the change table. And that is it. And then I also got this little mat with little whales on it and I thought it was cute. And I got these boxes which also match the theme. They're so cute. I love it. I just absolutely love it. I'm so happy with how everything's turning out. Looks really pretty. So that's everything. Then I have look, all this great stuff for baby. Um, I have to show you guys this. Look at this. Is this not the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? I just can't wait. I got these. I thought they were really neat um, to label the um, size of clothing, I guess, and such. But yeah, got lots of three to six. But anyways, um, that is everything in baby's room so far, and I will definitely do another vlog once things are a little more set. I do have a mat that's supposed to go here, but I don't know if it's going to fit here. And I bought like the matching um, change pad thing and it has like, but I don't know, this, I don't know, and the pads at my mom's, so I definitely gotta get that. But yeah, that's everything so far. That is about it. I did have my um, diaper party or baby shower or whatever you wanna call it. I had a small one. It was really nice. Um, a lot of close family friends and family and stuff came and, it's just always so nice to have a little gathering. I, I really do like that. So it was really nice for everybody just to get together. It was really small, there was not a lot of people, but that is what I like, so. Um, yeah, if you guys are pregnant and expecting, let me know down below because I would love to know that, you know, these videos are sort of helping other moms. If you have any other questions, comments, anything, let me know down below, it'll help me further on into my vlogs, then I can answer some questions. Cause I really don't know um, what else to tell you guys other than I love you to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.